Do you guys ever have difficulty changing from one metric unit into another? Well, I'm going to show you a real easy method in order to change something like centigrams to kilograms or decigrams to nanograms. I call it the ding-dong method. First thing you want to do is make a chart that looks like this. Here comes kilo, then blank, blank, then in here we're just going to put the metric unit without any prefix. After that comes deci, centi, milli, leave it blank, leave it blank, micro, leave it blank, leave it blank, nano, leave it blank, leave it blank, and then right at the end, we're going to put pico. So let's see how easy it is to use this method. 25 centigrams. What you do is you put your finger on the C, because that's the prefix in question. Now we want to change centigrams to kilo. Where is kilo on the chart? Let's look. One, two, three, four, five places, and I move my finger to the left. What that means is I'm going to take the decimal point, and for 25 it's at the end, and I'm going to again move it five places to the left. One, two, three, four, five. And that's where I put my decimal point. So 25 centigrams is equal to 0 0.00025 kilograms. That was pretty easy. Now let's do another problem. What about if we want to change 16.5 decigrams to nanograms? We're going to put our finger on the D for deci. Right here. Now, in which direction do we move our finger? We're going to move it to the right. We're going to move it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight places to the right. So let's take 16.5 and move the decimal point again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight places to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's where the new decimal point is going to go. And then you're just going to write it. And we've got 1 billion, 650 million nanograms. It's that easy.